Hi, how are you? I'm Jay, nice to meet you. Uh, this is Mintesanod. Pleasure. Can you tell me a little bit about where we are and what you guys are doing? All right, yeah, uh, right now we are at the Unido ITPO Korea booth. Okay. Yeah, so Unido ITPO Korea, we have uh, advisory programs okay. uh, in three countries, uh, Ethiopia, Peru, and Uzbekistan. Okay. And I'm representing the uh, ITPO Korea in Ethiopia. Uh, I'm the advisor for Ethiopia Advisory Program. And what we do is we provide uh, consultation services, information exchange, business to business uh, exchange, uh, discussions, meetings between Korean and Ethiopian private sectors okay. uh, to ensure investment and technology exchange between uh, the two countries. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, and for Ethiopia, uh, the investment and technology exchange that we get from uh, Korean side helps to ensure uh, efficiency and and good business okay. uh, in, 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 in the private sectors uh, in Ethiopia. And also it helps us to uh, digitalize, it helps to uh, industrialize uh, most of the economic sectors. Uh, and industrialization is yet a growing subject uh -huh. for a country like Ethiopia. Right. And so these kind of events are really uh, important for us to learn uh, various kind of technologies sure. that can be transferred to Ethiopia to help the industrialization process that we uh, that we have in, in these countries. Wonderful. This is really cool. This is a testament to both countries or the three countries here and Korea as well having an exchange of technology and information expertise. I have two questions for you. One, is this your first time at NVEX? Uh, uh, it is my second time uh, to, to come to in, to participate in Invex. Okay. Yes. And my other question is, what's your biggest goal this year at Invex then? Yeah, uh, I'm looking at a list of the participating companies here. Okay. And I would like to identify which specific technology and which company or business is more relevant to Ethiopia. And I really want to uh, see, uh, you know, to select and facilitate discussions, business discussions between uh, at least five or six Ethiopian and Korean uh, businesses for, uh, for developing joint projects and technology exchange between uh, them. And I hope I'll find, I'll find some. Wonderful. There we go. If you guys are looking to have your, uh, your Korean companies here, looking to have your products or your expertise or solutions abroad, especially in countries like Ethiopia, come and check out this booth because this booth, they're looking for collaborative partners and to boost the industry in Ethiopia through the uh, expertise and technology that's coming out of Korea. Thank you so much for your time. So much. I really appreciate it. Right, have you. a great thank exhibition. You. Thank you. We have more. Oh, we have more. Yeah, yeah, one more delegation. We have one more delegation. One more delegation. So she's from Cambodia. Okay. She's working at um, Oxum office okay. in Cambodia. No problem. Hi, I'm Jay. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. I heard you're from Cambodia. I am from Cambodia. Here's okay. my, just a little bit later. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Can <laughs> you tell me, I just heard about Ethiopia side here. Yes. As far as from Cambodia's point of view, uh, what are you looking for here at NVEX? Well, I think what we are looking for here from now is to learn as much as possible from this event. I know that there are hundreds and hundreds of... Uh, uh, technology being on display mm -hmm. and presented to the audience and from where we came from as a developing country Cambodia is still at the stage to um, find a solution to our social and environmental issues okay uh, and then I could see that from water and sanitation to energy uh, uh, there are technology that potentially finding their new market in Cambodia because we uh, see from the alignment with the Cambodia direction, Cambodia is uh, developing a green development pathway okay. to uh, grow uh, uh, the country. And these are potentially one of the solution, if not many of the solution to what Cambodia is looking for to align with their uh, strategic development pathway. Wonderful. Is this your first time at NVEX? It is my first time in NVEX and first time in Korea. Oh, so wonderful. it's really exciting. I yeah. hope you have a great time. Not just Ethiopia, there's two other countries here as well, including Cambodia. They are looking for partnerships, collaborations with Korean companies to have the best technology to make our world and our environment a better and safer and more uh, sanitized. Good.
uh, a more, more sustainable, more sustainable <laughs> place. Thank you so much. There we go. You had to put that word in sustainable. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time Thank today. Thank you so much. I'm Jay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, where are we? What is your company and what solution or product are you showing today? Oh, my organization, I work for an organization called Oxfam. Okay. And we work in over 80 countries, including in Nepal, where I'm from, to work with poor and most marginalized communities to fight poverty and, you know, inequality. Wonderful. We're here in Korea at Envex. So your company, you're from Nepal, as you said. What is the potential you see in Korea for your company or your organization? So we are here to learn about the different environmental technology that Korea is so in front of and advanced and we would like to learn what we can take back to Nepal in terms of smart agriculture, smart farming, looking at managing uh, quality water and also really working on you know, better environment and sustainable environment for the communities that we work with. Wonderful. So have, have you seen some products that really or some products or companies that really stand out that you can see being implemented in your country? Yes, actually, I was just talking to someone right now uh, around learning about smart farming and how okay. that can help with climate adaptation at the very local level. So that's something I'm really looking forward to learn more about. And I saw lots of, you know, um, companies that work on safe water quality, yep. which is really great. And we spoke to some companies yesterday on waste management, uh, including medical waste management. So those are very interesting ideas that I can share back when I go home. And is this your first time at NVEX? Yes, very first time. Okay. I've not been to an environmental conference like this before, so it is a real eye-opener. Wonderful. Is there anything that you'd like to add if you're looking for, say, a certain group or certain partners or certain technology that our viewers can kind of, you know, either understand or help out kind of where you're coming from? Or, I mean, a lot of people here are watching these interviews as well. So if, if you want to say something to the camera uh, to help out your cause and your country, is there something you'd like to add? Uh, yes, I think uh, in terms of looking at how we can uh, explore the use of technology and local innovation to help the poorest communities to really not be left behind in this, you know, very uh, big world where there is so much of progress, but there are lots of communities who are left behind and living still below the poverty line. So I'm really here to explore how we can collaborate with such organizations and companies to make technology work for the poorest people as well. Wonderful. And what's the name of your organization again? Oxfam. Oxfam. So Oxfam, uh, based out of Nepal, and they're looking for the best partners in technology here in Korea. Environmental technology is not only about helping out the rich and only with people with a lot of money. Environmental technology should be about making our world a better place. And that includes low income and people living around the poverty line and other countries as well. So while Korea, since Korea is a pioneer in this field, let's all help our world become a more sustainable, more environmentally friendly place. Thank you so much for your thank time. Thank you very much. I and really thank appreciate it. Thank you. About our cause. Absolutely. And good luck at the exhibition. Yeah, thank you. Very thank much. you. Okay, coming oh, over. Yeah. Hi. Just, hi. Oh, no problem. Yes. Oh, you have a question for me? or? No, just one question. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Oh, hi. Hi, I'm Jay. Nice to yeah. meet you. Nice so, to meet you. My name is Pure uh -huh. I'm from Mongolia. Okay. I'm working. Uh, uh, Ministry of Environmental mm -hmm. uh, and Climate Change of Mongolia. Okay. Yes, we uh, uh, we today and yesterday we many companies we meeting, and then uh, uh, today afternoon uh, we have a seminar. Wonderful. Oh, Mongolia. About Mongolia. What time is the seminar? Uh, it's uh, two p.m. Two p.m. Yes. And what are you really looking for out of Envex here in Korea? Oh, it's uh, very uh, wonderful. It's uh, many. Korean company and other overseas company. It's uh, very nice. And if, if you could, I guess, get one thing out of Envex, are you wanting people to come to your seminar specifically? Are you looking for partners? Are you looking for new technology? What are you looking for here at Envex? Mm, yes, I'm looking for new technology, okay. green technology. We need, uh, in Mongolia, we need a very uh, um, green technology. It's a new technology. We okay. need that. What? I'm looking that new partners and new technology, that's it. Wonderful, and their seminar is at 2, 2 p.m., the Mongolia seminar. They're looking for partners, new technology, uh, and anyone, and not just from Korea, from abroad as well, and they're happy to be here at Envex and hopefully bring new technology and new great minds and expertise uh, to help out Mongolia as well. Yes. Anything Thank else you. you'd like me to add? Perfect. Thank you, Thank you so Please much. welcome that Abs seminar. Absolutely, Mongolia seminar at 2 p.m. Yeah, at 2 p.m. All right. Thank yeah. you.